Hello there gorgeous gamers and welcome back to Pure Play TV and we've got a quick review for Green Hell on PS5 because the game originally released on PS4, though it is playable on PS5. This new release is a native PS5 app and it's a free upgrade if you own the PS4 version of the game. A code was provided for this review, now the common in the jungle, where it's all fun und spieler. Sorry, can't risk the copyright stuff. So, Green Hell on PS5. What is it? Is it any good? Well, Green Hell is a survival game, and a pretty hardcore one at that. And when I booted into it, I thought, hmm, this seems oddly familiar. And that's because we actually reviewed the game on the channel back when it released on PS4. So, for an in-depth review of the gameplay and systems, and what makes it a fun, challenging, somewhat hardcore survival experience, I'm going to direct you to that video. You will find that down in the description box, and everything said in that review is still reliable and relevant today. You'll also find the like and subscribe buttons, hint hint, wink wink. Green Hell on PS5 is a massive disappointment. I must say, it's very rare that a PS5 or Xbox Series XS version of a PS4 or Xbox One game is worse, but Green Hell has managed it. It is objectively a worse experience playing on the PS5 native app than booting up the PS4 version, and that is true at the time of this review going live. However, there is a chance that the developers will drop some updates to improve the game, but come on, the original version came out three years ago. There has been a lot of time to get it right on release, rather than release it in a poor condition and patch it up later. Sadly, Creepy Jar, the developer behind Green Hell, has taken this approach with the game on just about every platform, which is frustrating because, despite a few technical oddities, it's a solid survival sim, one of the best out there, but nothing seems to go right for the game. Right off the bat, I checked the game's menus for any kind of performance or quality modes. On PS5, there are none. On PS4, you have the choice between performance, which aims for 60 FPS and gets close enough to it the majority of the time that it's a smooth enough experience. And you also have a graphics mode, which bumps the resolution up, ticks a few extra boxes, and makes the game look a little nicer at 30 FPS. On PS5, you have no such options. You're stuck at 30 frames per second. Yes, 30 frames per second, and not a stable one at that. It's janky, and it doesn't feel particularly nice to play. I did the first half hour or so of the game to capture some footage, and then I went to the PS4 version to get some comparison footage, and I honestly had to check that the version I had first played was actually the PS5 version, because I couldn't believe that the PS4 app has a performance mode, and the PS5 one doesn't. It boggles the mind. It's not like the game even looks particularly better running on the PS5 app. You do get better textures, but you also get worse pop-in, and weird things happening to the ground when you pick things up. So okay, the ground looks a bit nicer, but I'm also tripping out every time I pick up a bloody stick. Speaking of tripping out, Green Hell has got one of the strangest camera systems I've ever seen in a game. It's not that the camera doesn't work. You move with the left stick and use the right one to look around. Standard. But the way the game has been built, it's really hard to explain, and it's something best seen. So, if I'm doing a decent job at putting this video together, you should be able to see what I'm going to try to explain. Moving the camera from side to side when you're outdoors, like in this area here where I have remembered to put a clip of the camera panning across a small lake, it's almost like the scenery expands and contracts as you move the camera. Or if you look at the left edge of the screen as the camera pans, it's almost like the picture is being unwrapped. I suppose the best way to describe it, and this effect is particularly prominent indoors and against large walls. If you look up, it's like being inside a 360 degree video, but without the VR headset. It's bloody weird, and it confuses my brain and my belly, and it genuinely makes me feel a bit sick if I piss around with the camera too much. I literally have to focus my vision on the very centre of the screen at all times, which means pulling a chair in front of the TV and sitting unhealthily close to the screen. It's literally the only non-VR game that has given me some kind of VR-like sickness. If you've never played Green Hell in any shape or form before, and you go for the PS5 version without ever touching the original PS4 release, you're still going to have a good time. You can't miss what you didn't have, right? 
you're getting one of the best survival games out there with plenty of options to customise your game, so if you don't want to fiddle with healing your cuts or managing your sanity, hunger, hydration and so on, you can turn these off as you like and play the game however is best for you, and you will enjoy it, and you'll probably think, well, it runs good enough to play and it looks decent, and you'll put the problems down to typical new release jank. And you'll be fine, your life will be good. But, if you have played Green Hell before, and you want to dive back in and do it all over again on your fancy next-gen system, you will be disappointed from the word go, and that is a shame. Personally speaking, after going to the PS4 version and its performance mode, I think that's where I'm going to stay and see out the remainder of the game's story while I try not to vomit. If you have the PS4 version, save yourself the bother of downloading the PS5 edition and just stick with the original. If you've never played Green Hell before, watch our review, let that be your guide to enlightenment, and then get the PS4 version and hope that the next gen upgrade actually gets a bloody upgrade. And that is the end of this video. We're not putting a score on this one because I guarantee I do that and then two days later, there's a patch that nullifies everything I've said, so consider this a review in progress. If and when the game does get some kind of update on PS5, we will come back around and see if I can recommend the PS5 edition. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and want more, go on down below, give the like and subscribe buttons a tap, and also give the bell icon a tap so you're notified whenever we've got new stuff for you to watch. I've been Chris, you've been gorgeous, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, cheers my dears.